Welcome to today's video guys. On today's video, I'm going to be discussing the top 6 uh, ways to actually secure your WhatsApp from hackers. And mostly, this is going to be very useful. So make sure you pay attention to this. So um, now, the first thing I'm going to say is uh, most times, never you click on links, especially random links that you do not actually know where they are coming from or you cannot verify the source of that link always verify the source of every link and most times if you notice it doesn't end with com and you try to access it it doesn't have a security code then that means the website is fishy then two um you can actually avoid people adding you from a group do not uh, um, allow people to add you randomly to groups now this is actually what i mean go to your settings area click on the three dotted icon go to settings and then under privacy scroll down a little bit go to groups and make sure you have this set to either accept you just choose one particular person you know very well so the person will be the only person that will be able to add you to a group so let me say this is actually my profile so click on that and it's going to update so i have only one person that will be able to add me to a group which is me and if you want to add more people, you can always click on the accept and then you add more people. But I think I'm actually okay with one person. Or you can just say my contact, which is actually very safe. So now, guys, the next way to actually avoid people from, um, from getting you, your account scammed on WhatsApp is whenever you chat with anybody and you feel something suspicious, go ahead and block the person, whoever they are. No matter what you think, um, anytime you think uh, this person's chat or this person's conversation is becoming too suspicious, then just go ahead and block the person. Now, it's actually very easy to block anybody on WhatsApp. To block them, click on this three dotted icon or you probably click on their profile icon, scroll down a little bit and you notice where it says block. Click on block and confirm to block. But I'm not actually going to block myself because that is actually my profile. And then guys, after blocking, another option or another way to stay safe on WhatsApp is actually make sure that you turn on the two-step um, authentication. Now, the two-step authentication is actually very important if you are trying to avoid being hacked. Even whenever you are hacked on your WhatsApp, you can always get it back with the email you actually enabled for your two-step authentication. So click on two-step authentication right here and then go ahead and turn it on. Now, when you turn it on, it's going to ask you to create a pass key for your WhatsApp. So I'm going to create this key. So I just created this pass key. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and edit that. Now, after you added the pass key, it's going to ask you to add your email. So I'm going to go ahead and add an email matching All right, I have added my email, so I'm going to go ahead, forward, and then confirm the email again. So after you added this, go ahead and click on save. Now, most of the times, after you turn on the two-step authentication, it's going to actually give you um, some messages like, you'll be getting some messages from... You notice whenever you, after you turn on your two-step authentication and you try to access your WhatsApp, it's always going to ask you to enter in your two-step authentication number. And if you didn't get the code right, you won't be able to access that WhatsApp. So it's actually very important to have this two-step authentication on. Now, um, the next thing is never share your WhatsApp, um, never share your WhatsApp code with anybody because uh, people have actually a way of, um, communicating with people they can call you on the phone and ask you to send the two-step authentication that was sent to your phone guys always be very careful when answering calls especially from numbers you do not know or even though it's a number you know they can also hack another person and use that person to actually hack you so whenever they hack somebody always find a way to always find a way to actually um 
put yourself first pay attention to the information that they are telling you so obviously they are going to say uh um a number was sent to your phone please confirm it for me whichever format they use i do not know what format they use anyway but i'm just saying this most of the way they hack people is by asking people for their information and also another way is also adding um a password to your phone go ahead and add a password to your phone to make sure you have it secure just in case somebody actually have access to your device physically your password is going to save you from that issue and then guys um one additional information i think you should know is whenever you are making use of your device and you have uh, your password logged in you have everything active always be sure to check if you are trying to access a long a wrong link especially on your browser or you're browsing you see a link that is leading to your whatsapp always make sure you verify that link before clicking on it it's very useful so guys there are so many ways to actually have your account safe and secure but this is actually the most important ones that i've listed on this video and i hope it's helpful so guys i will see you on my next video please stay safe and peace